Welcome back to 5 Minute Kerbal. What we're going to talk about today is radial decouplers. You'll see this is the rocket that we flew last time in our uh, 5 minute video about stack decoupling. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do radial decoupling. So we're going to take this bottom stage, chuck it over here. We just want to get a taller tank, so we're going to use this 800. Okay. And then we're going to go back and grab one of these LV T45 liquid fuel engines. And we'll add some wings for stability. So, turn on symmetry mode. Three times symmetry mode looks good. There we go. All right. Now, this is essentially the same rocket that we built and flew the last time we flew. So, what we're going to do differently is we're going to go get a radial decoupler. We're going to use... I don't know if we want to use this one or this one. Yeah, let's use this one. All right. We still got three times symmetry mode on, so we're going to put these radial decouplers right in between the fins there. Okay. And then we're going to attach some solid rocket boosters to them. So this is the RT10 solid fuel booster from the very first video. Make sure you get it actually on the radial decoupler there, which I didn't. Uh, let's see here. Symmetry mode on. Ah, there we go. I think that will work. There we go, that will work. All right, now let's take a look at our staging. The first time you hit spacebar, it will fire the solid rocket boosters. We wanna go ahead and move the liquid fuel engine down there with it too. So now when you hit the spacebar, all three of these solid rocket boosters will fire as well as the liquid fuel booster. The next time you hit spacebar, it will decouple these and you'll see how that works. And then it will decouple the bottom. So let's just go take it for a test drive. You'll see. Okie doke, here we are on the launch pad. T for stability control, turn it on. Throttle up, although actually, you know what? We're gonna leave the throttle down this time because the solid rocket boosters will give us plenty of fuel. Once they are starting to burn out, then we can turn on our liquid fuel engine. All right, so we're burning, 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 burning. The solid rocket boosters are burning out. We're going very fast. And uh, once they get down to, I don't know, say 10% or so, I'll go ahead and throttle up the liquid fuel engine. It should be very soon. Sorry about the noise. All right, there's the liquid fuel engine. Now the next time we hit spacebar, radial decouplers will fire. There we go. Now we don't have to carry that dead weight. And now it's basically the same rocket that we fired last time. But that's how radial decouplers work. Alrighty, that's all I had for this, this video. Uh, happy kerbling, and uh, we will see you next time.